For Omanyte, or Dino Spirit Link, Pokemon Fan Club, we've got a Diglett Reverse with the Ram. This strange attack was Ram. Ram. Anyway, and... Wow. What's cracking YouTube? My name's Brody and welcome to another Pokemon trading card game opening and today we're back with part number two of box number three from my Fates Clyde booster case opening that is going down on the channel right now. So yeah, be sure to uh, check out the links in the description to box number one, all the parts of box number two and even part number one of box number three that we're opening continuing today. But yeah, as you guys may or may not know by the title of the video, this um, this opening will be in quarters. So in today's part, we'll be cracking into another nine packs of this beautiful, beautiful set, Fates Collide. So many goodies that can get pulled out of this set today. But yeah, I'll just double check that we got nine packs to open here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, excellent. Excellent. And without further ado... Let's get into the main attraction. This is what you guys want to see. You don't want to hear me talk. You want to see me crack into these packs. But let's go. Let's go. Alrighty. So pack number one. Can we get some first pack magic? First pack magic. We've got a Mancino, Diglett, a Riolu, Carbink, a Dealing. Zygarde. So you don't really see too much of this Zygarde, surprisingly. I don't know. I personally, I don't. Um, I've opened up two boxes already and I've probably seen this card about two or three times maybe. Maybe, but it's got 90 HP with Lookout and Aura Break. We got a Wormadam, Fossil Excavation Kit, a Reverse Kangaskhan, that one's just an uncommon, and a Kabutops Regular Rare. So, no first pack magic, but that is all good. That is all good. Let's move on to pack number two. So yeah, if you guys missed out on part number one, it was pretty good. We got um, a fair fair amount of pulls. Um, we hit probably just over the pull ratio. We're rocking about... Uh, was it four? I think it was four pulls. Four, four, four pulls in the first part. So that's not, not even bad. So there's plenty of plenty of pulls to um, expect in the rest of the box. Like for sure. For sure. Uh, with these boxes averaging about 14 pulls per box, I'd say. I just said we barely see this Zygarde and we've just pulled it in back-to-back -back packs. Like, what is going on, you guys? What is going on? But we got a Reverse Meow and a Hollow Lucario. So, yeah, awesome. So, just bringing up the pulls, um, we managed to get a pull, which is always nice. But, yeah, um, this art is pretty pretty sweet. You got Mega Alakazam chilling off in the uh, top left-hand side of the card. Um, and then you got just Lucario looking all epic, just like... I'm Lucario, <laughs> but that's cool, that is cool, so let's just move these packs over so the goodies can have something to lean against, just like that, that'll do perfectly, and let's move on to pack number three, so I think you guys are due for a code, let's um, let's share a code, sharing is caring, there we go, so if you guys have managed to scoop up a code already, uh, be sure to leave that one for someone that has not scooped up one yet. Because sharing is caring. But we've got a Lavatar. We've got a Carbink. Jigglypuff. A Riolu. Dealing. Servine. Wormadam. Pupitar. Dealing Reverse with Find a Friend. And a Reuniclus Regular Air with uh, Link Fusion. So Link Fusion says if Solosis is on your bench, this attack does 30 more damage. If Dewosion is on your bench, this attack does 60. What? If Solosis is on your bench, it does 30. If Dewosion's on your bench, it does 60. If Reuniclus is on your bench, this attack does 90 more damage. Okay. Okay, it kind of confused me for a second, but that seems alright. That seems okay. Delphox Break. Can we see a Delphox Break in box number 3? Can we, can we, can we? That is the question. I'm so hyped. I, I got high hopes for this box. It was, um, I don't know. It was staring at me. It was the standout in the case. It was the odd one out with the loose shrink wrap. So I got really high hopes that this box can come through with the goods. 
but we've got a Whimsicott. We've got a Grumpig. That one is a reverse rare with headwalking and knockback. Not bad. If you guys didn't notice, like, you can see, like, the two x clouds in the background, like, um, using Hyper Voice, uh, potentially. And then everyone in the crowd's, like, holding spoons. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't get that. I'm guessing that's, like, a little bit of a pun to, um, Alakazam. But, yeah, is that, like, a Minchino? I think that's, like, a Minchino in the, um, bottom left-hand side. You got a Wiggly Tough kind of just chilling there. But, yeah, pretty, pretty interesting art. Fairly detailed if you look at it, um, look at it closely. But we've got a Mr. Mine regular rare. Once again, this art looks pretty cool as well. Very peaceful. Very nice. But let's move on. Let's throw Grumpick up the back as it was a reverse rare. And move on to Lugia Break. So I've had, I had a lot of uh, good luck with the Lugia Break pack art in my, uh, in my last box opening. So you, if you guys have not checked out box number two, the pulls were hype. Legitimately, like, we got the best pulls, um, especially in part number one. Be sure to go check out part number one. But we got a Minchino, we got a Wizma, a Snivy, Fennekin, Helix Fossil Ominite, Ordino Spirit Link, Pokemon Fan Club, we've got a Diglett Reverse with the Ram, a strange attack, well, Ram, Ram, anyway, and... Wow. Wow, you guys. Check this card out. This is hype. Like, seriously, this is what hype looks like from the Fates Collide set. We've pulled the mascot in its ultimate full art form. This is incredible. Box 3 has come through. As wanted, Box 3 came through. Check this card out. So we got Mega Alakazam EX full art. 210 HP with Zen Force. Zen Force says this attack does 30 more damage for each damage counter on your opponent's active Pokemon. So that goes well with like suppression because it like helps build up damage counters and all that sort of jazz. But yeah, check that card out. Oh my god. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of this Mega Alakazam EX full art. I am like, wow, I, I don't want to like stop talking because that would just be really awkward. Because that pull is just incredible. I'm like, I'm gobsmacked right now. That is amazing. That is absolutely amazing. Part two coming through. Part two coming through. But let's move on. We got four more packs to get through, and I talk for I talk way too much. So we got to move on. We got to keep chugging with part number two. Wow. I had high hopes for this box, as I was saying a little bit earlier in the opening. I can't remember if it was in part number one or earlier in this part, but um, I had high hopes for this box, and it came through. So that is incredible. We got Shauna. We got a Kabuto. That's pretty cool. With Mudshot. And an x Plout regular rare. So yeah, we couldn't keep the um, hype train going, but um, I... I don't really mind at all after that pulling that card I couldn't really ask for too much more on this part we have been delivered the goods from Arceus my main man and um, yeah I just don't know what else to say <laughs> I don't know what else to say the card like I'm just looking at the card. I'm so distracted right now that's why I don't like getting these like amazing cards when I'm trying to like talk because they just, they slow down everything. I, I blame you, Mega Alakazam. I blame you. But we got an Ordino Spirit Link. Power Memory. A Weezing. I love that Weezing art. A Lavatar. And an Omastar regular rare. Not bad. Not bad. Moving on to the second last pack of part number two. Which has been an amazing part. Amazing part. And you guys are due for... A, another code so let's throw that one off to the side and let's go so one more pack to go after this one hopefully we can continue the hype train but we've got a coughing a spoink check that spoink sky high spoink is sky high we got a diglet what's that i don't know i was just kind of like noticing there's like crystals and stuff off to the side here i didn't know if that was like an avalag or something a little bit out of the ordinary, but there is a little Zubat up in the top corner there. I don't know if you guys can see. Little Zubat, chilling up there. 
Wigglytuff, a Dugong, N, a Wormadam Reverse, this one's just an uncommon, it has Solar Ray and Leaf Cutter, and a Mega Autonate EX. I would love, like, I would definitely love to pull uh, more of these over the regular Ordino EX, so if we get a whole heap of these, I'm pleased. I'm amazed, as long as we don't get the regular Ordino. As long as we keep the Ordinos away, keep them away. But the Mega Ordino is very, very welcome because I love this art. And I think it just, it looks nice. It really um, gives Ordino a lot of appreciation. Because as you guys know, Ordino is very underappreciated. But that is a nice pull. We're keeping the heart train flowing. And we still have one more pack to go. So let's continue on. Let's continue on. Can we end it on a high note? We started it off on a low note. But can we finish it off on a high note? So I've got a coughing. Sky High Spoink. Minchino. Diglett. I just took like three cards. <laughs> Lavata. Kabuto. Omanite. Not bad. So we got two fossils back to back. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. A Scorched Earth. The reprinted Scorched Earth. A reverse rare, that's not bad, I'll take that. I will take that if we don't get anything next. Yeah, Aerodactyl regular rare. So I will take that, that's not bad. We've got a reverse rare Lucario to finish it off, which is definitely a lot harder to pull than the regular rare Lucario, which this one is. But not bad, it has beatdown and magnum kick. But not a bad part, I'd say it's actually a pretty solid part. Pretty awesome, awesome part. But let's have a quick recap to finish off this part of box number three. So we got the Reverse Ray Lucario, Reverse Ray Grumpig, uh, Lucario, the metal type one, uh, Hollow, awesome card, Mega Ordino EX, and of course the highlight, by far being the Mega Alex Zam EX full art. So that is incredible. So we'll throw our two Ultras up the back here. But yeah, without further ado, that wraps up part, Box 3, Part 2. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of the Mega Alakazam EX Full Art. Um, is it your favourite card from Fates Collide? Is it not? And why? What is your favourite um, card from Fates Collide? Let me know in the comment section below. Be sure to drop a like if you guys enjoyed Part Number 2 of Box 3. And I look forward to seeing you guys in Part Number 3. Or another one of my Pokemon Trading Card Game Openings. Thanks for watching. Peace.